Are you Liu Kang? Hmm, <laughs> fat chance! Now get out of my face! Are you Liu Kang? Sorry, miss. I'm not your guy. Are you Liu Kang? <laughs> Are you Liu Kang? Uh, yeah. Come with me. Cool. Hey, what's up YouTube? Bo Art Take over here back with another modded action figure review. Today we have the McFarlane Toys Mortal Kombat Katana figure. Now let's get into it. Alright, so now I love Katana. Who else loves Katana? Let me see you stand up. There we you are. Well, you ain't got to stand up, but let me know in the comment section which female ninja is your favorite. So anyways, I wasn't going to do a review on this figure. Uh, I realized a lot of people have already seen it or they own the figure. But after I did the mods, I decided this figure is too cool to just not do a review on. The top of her bunch, she stands just a little over 7 inches. I already have the accessories out. I'll go ahead and cover that. So I do like one of the accessories she comes with. You can see it's an open blade uh, fan. It looks pretty good. It's got some texture on it. Just a simple blue. There's not a hinge. It just looks like it's a hinge on it. Looks all right. Second accessory she comes with is a closed fan. She's got the packaging she comes with. You can see it closed right there. I'll keep the last accessory in the package. It's the size. It's got a little spiral to it. It's basic little design. Looks all right. There's what the package looks like. Got a picture of her. Got a picture of her on the side. More pictures of the figure. Looks all right. Looks all right. I do like the artwork, the photos that they use for the box. That looks pretty good. And then the last accessory she comes with is a Mortal Kombat basic McFarlane stand. Alrighty, jumping into the articulation moment you've all been waiting on. So starting at the head, I did do a cut at the head, um, but I realized that because of the neck is actually sculpted onto the head and it's all just one joint. She won't be able to move her head that far anyway up. So I may just go back and kind of just sand around a little bit of that collar and maybe just sculpt it. But I don't know if it's that serious. So as such, she can't really look up that far. She's got a slight tilt going on for the head. Got your full rotation. She can look down about, about that much. So that's all right. It's soft, moves out of the way quite nicely. Shoulder pads are soft as well, so they will move out of the way. And get her arm up about that much. So that looks good. Got a full rotation going on. Ratchet is kind of tight, so you can get it all the way around. She's got a bicep swivel going on, so that's cool. It looks good. Double joints for the elbows. That's awesome. For the wrist, going about that much. She can go up about that much, so that looks all right. And of course, you can twist that around and such. This is not a separate piece. It's sculpted onto the arm. One of the other mods that I've done is the torso. So I don't have a comparison video to show you or a comparison photo to show you how it looked before, but I will show you what she can do now. So, using both of those joints at the top and bottom, she can go forward about about that much ab croissant so that yeah that's not that bad and i've noticed that if you twist around this corset corsage whatever this uh middle piece is let me show you right quick it's a little shorter in the back and it still looks all right so you can actually still you can use it like that and get just a little bit more range. Look at that. Keeping the corsage turned all the way around. She can move, shift to the side, side to side, looks good. If I turn this back the way it was, I'll show you just how far back she can get her, her back movement, which isn't really necessary, but look at that. That's sick. That's sick. Of course, you get your rotation at the top of the torso and at the bottom of the torso. She can get her legs out about that much, so that could be a little better. She can get her legs up about that far before it starts to really curve out. So that's not too bad. Here's what it looks like if you just keep it flush. So that's not bad. It's not bad. Got your modded thigh swivel going on here. And this one is a little tight. And as you can see, it kind of breaks up a little bit. 
and I'm still getting the hang of doing these little mods and I'm not sharing this. I'm not selling this or anything like that. So I didn't really care about as far as the, you know, the measurements, if the lines or cuts were accurate or not, you know, but as you can see, this cut is a little lower and this one kind of spreads out, kind of sticks out a little bit, separates a little bit. And I believe that is because I didn't use a, a straight cut, you know, so, but like I said, I'm not selling this, so it's all right. I'm pretty happy with it. This one is, it's actually hella tight, you know, so I'm learning. Got your double joints for the knees. Look good. And you have a hinge for the ankles, which can only go up really about that far. So that could be a little bit better. She can go back about that far for the ankles. So that's okay. And you can twist that around, twist a little hinge around, the foot around the hinge to get your foot rocker. And I will say the way McFarlane does the ratchet hinge for the ankles, it's kind of funny because the, the way it clicks, the, the lock part of it, it doesn't, it's too far spread apart. You know, so for a lot of his figures, it's hard to kind of get the figure to stand up flush you know, with where it's going to lock at. You're not exactly going to be able to get her into some good running poses like I did the DC Essentials back row. That's my little brother. She also holds her fan kind of loose. I forgot to mention that. It's... Real quick for your size comparisons, here we have next to the Storm Collectibles Helmet Rule figure from Samurai Showdown, and we have him next to the Storm Collectibles Reptile figure, the special edition. Next, we have him next to the SH Figure Art Sagat figure and the Mafex Cyclops figure. Next, we have him next to the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Michelangelo figure and the Kotobukiya Zero Model Kit. Next, we have her next to the Storm Collectibles Sub-Zero and the Golden Axe Skeleton figure for also from Storm Collectibles. And lastly, here we have her next to the DC Essentials Bad Girl figure and the Marvel Legends X-23 figure. Final thoughts on this figure. As far as the paint and sculpt work go, I do like the paint. The paint work they did, uh, it's actually pretty good. There were only minor sections of where paint bleeding would happen between the, where the black meets the white on the skin. And uh, there were a couple different tones for the skin too, I noticed, you know, but the, as far as the paint goes, there's nothing significant that I could really point out, you know, and they did a really good job as far as that. As far as the sculpt work, man, the sculpt work is top notch. Everybody knows McFarlane does his thing with the sculpt work. You know, that's one thing you can't really take away from him. But getting out of the box, um, I was a little so-so with it, but then again, going into it i didn't know what i was getting into after the mods this figure is lit this joint is i for the price point man you, you can't beat it you know they're, they're doing a good job you know you got to get respect where respect is due and i appreciate all that mcfarland is doing and i just want you to know anytime you need an extra hand day or night my phone's off right now but <laughs> so what you need my help with anyway this is sub-zero you have to defeat him Whoa, 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 whoa. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe if you haven't. Stay tuned for more content. Till then, peace.